Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hi. Hello, and welcome to. Oh, let me focus. Focus. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Koki versus Vegetable. Hello, everybody. Who? It is hot today. Um, maybe because I have my oven on right now, but it's really hot, so I'm like sweating. Um, but I have my cactus cooler to cool me off. And that will also answer your question of, that's my drink of choice today. But, um, hello, welcome. And today's episode of Koki vs. Vegetable is going to be squash. Um, I cut this one, but there's a reason. But, hello, everybody. Hi, 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 Izumi. Hello. Hola, como estas, Izumi? Izumi es, es... Mi uh, amiga in Peru. Did I say that right? I have no idea. Yes, okay. Um, but yes, squash is going to be my vegetable for today. I am also, also, yes, yay, cool, awesome. Um, anyways. Words. Um, I this is this is a butternut squash that I cut up. Um, the recipe that I'm doing today only required um, two pounds of butternut squash, and this was four pounds. So I just cut it in half and used the top half. But we'll see. Anywho, this is a yellow squash because there's a lot of different types of squashes. For those who didn't know, because I didn't know, I just thought squash was squash. And then zucchini is also a type of squash. Who knew? Not me. I bet everyone did but me. I'm not smart. Um, but anyways, <laughs> today I, I looked it up. Um, I always do my research on vegetables that I'm going to do. I looked it up. Unfortunately, butternut squash is not allowed eaten raw. Um, you just have to cook it up really like a lot way through. It's not able to eat raw. But um, yellow squash is, I believe, acorn squash and butternut squash are the two squashes you are not allowed to eat raw. So I have my um, yellow squash here that I will be eating for you. Um, in my cooked way, I'm going to slice this up, guy, and then roast it, kind of just how I did like the bell pepper, but I'm gonna cut it in a slice and then just roast it on my grill. And cause I'm pretty sure that's normal of how people like to eat regular squash. Um, and then in my meal, um, I'm actually making, I looked this up on recipes cause I don't know how to cook you guys. Actually, no, lies, I know how to cook if I have a good recipe in front of me. Um, I am making, what's it called? Cheesy bacon butternut squash. That's what it's called. Cheesy bacon butternut squash. That is what I'm going to be eating today. Let me see the chats. Yes, 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 yes. I saw a recipe for butternut squash alfredo. Ooh, that sounds, I'm not going to say that sounds good yet because I don't know if I like squash or not. Um, that is good as a soup. Yes, a lot of people said try doing like a soup, but I've done soup for broccoli, which was pretty recent. So I kind of wanted to do something a little different. Yeah. Um, creamy squash, creamy pasta. Ooh, that sounds, I don't know. Uh, I just had another side back front too. That yellow squash is like for ratatouille. Yeah, I think so. If you cut the, then in th thin 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 things i think that's ratatouille but yeah anyways let's get going um first i'm going to peel this guy um just to kill time because i need to kill time and that oh, i'm still learning how to use this webcam that i got you don't need to see my face right you just need to see that i am cutting a 
squash. I'm gonna cut the ends off and then I'm going to peel it off. Hey, how's everyone's day going so far while I do this? It's good, good. I'm glad your days are going good. Dang, I can't tell if I peeled some. Squash is very slippery, be careful. So if you ever decide to cook with squash and you're prepping for it, it's very slimy on the skin area. But just for warning, fair warning, when you're prepping, because I was when I was peeling the butternut squash, it slipped out of my hands and I almost dropped it in the trash can. <laughs> so don't be like me. Don't be like me. Make squash bread. Ooh. That's because squash is 80% water. Oh wow, squash is like a human, because we have we're made of 80% water, right? Or are we made of 60%, 75? I don't know. What's the percentage of a water in a human person? Look it up, someone tell me. Cause then we are made of 70% water. Okay. I'm gonna forget that, but thank you for letting me know. <laughs> But yes, all right, tea. I am almost done peeling. Um, peeling the squash is really easy because it's really, it's really light. I guess not. It doesn't have such a thick skin, so it's pretty easy. I think it's e way easier than peeling a carrot, even though carrots are already e pretty easy to peel. But squash is pretty simple. All right. Now I'm going to. What's the best way to cut this? I'm going to cut this up and down, like so. Oh, wow, it has seeds. Did you guys know it has seeds? I didn't know it had seeds. Oh, it's like a cucumber. Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea. All righty. Um, I don't know what the best way to cut this thinly is. Let's cut it in half again, because I want to. And how do I cut? <laughs> Me struggling on how to cook. Okay, I'm just going to cut up and down to make very thin cuts. Are, these seeds are edible, right? I so, um, okay, I'm not going to eat that much, so this is good. All right, here are my pieces of squash I will eat. <sighs> Apparently, the skin is also edible, so you don't really have to peel the skin. I read online that the skin of yellow squash is edible. Raw, so you don't have to peel that. I'm sorry, but cool. I can eat the seeds. Yay! All right, see, I have a timer going on on my phone, by the way. So in about two minutes, my baking of it would should be done. I think I'm not too sure. I just have to remove it and then add some cheese. But anyways, um, whew, I am ready. Are you guys ready? This is going to be me eating the squash raw. Oh wait, I need to wash it first. <laughs> Cut myself. Did I catch myself or am I just prolonging my time? Okay, I rinsed it. All right, all right, all right. I have to rinse it, right? Okay. All right, here we go. Squash. I mean, you should wash all fruit. Sure, okay, anyways.
the texture. Mm. It, it tastes like It tastes like a flavorless watermelon, if that makes any sense. Um, the texture is a little more thicker than a watermelon, but overall, the flavor-wise, it's just like eating a watermelon with no flavor. I don't... Does that make sense? Maybe? I don't know. That's how I see it. Am I the only one? No? Okay. Never mind. Well, that's what it tastes like to me. A flavorless watermelon when I bite into it. So planty. Kind of planty, but not really. I'm not too sure. Kind of, but not really. All right. Um, let's check on my thing because my timer's up. Stop. Cool. All right. Um... Going to bring oh, you guys over to here very quick. Please. Sorry for all your headphone users because I know that chair push sounded really bad. All right. Let's see what's cooking. Actually, I know what's cooking. Let's see how it turned out. Oh. Oh, the bacon is nice and crispy. Oh, how is the? Oh, let me poke it with a fork. Okay. Oh. Um, the squash is not soft yet, so I'm going to leave it in longer. Because I think it needs to be in there for a little bit longer. Yes, Shikamaru time. <laughs> Shikamaru is my wallpaper, and there's just the timer in the back. Shikamaru's best boy to me. He's absolute number one best boy. Um, but since, since I'm going to let it cook a little longer, I am going to... Fry up some zucchini. Nope, not zucchini. What am I talking about? Fry up the squash because I don't have this zucchini. I was going to get zucchini because I just found out that zucchini is also squash. So, yeah, facts. But I wonder if it's okay to have the oven and the stove on at the same time. Let's just hope I don't blow up. All right. Okay, just gonna let that cook for a bit, but yes, you can have them on both. Okay, it's okay, good, cool. All right, while we wait for that to heat up, anyone do any interesting, anything interesting this week? I bought some stuff on Etsy. Let's support your local, not your local, your, let's support artists that sell on websites, but I found an amazing person who makes things out of, I forgot what they're called, Acry acrylic stuff, acrylic things. Um, her, her Etsy is called Palette Town Designs. I also believe that's her Instagram handle, but she makes like coasters and, trays like little jewelry trays or like big things with cards like trading cards like pokemon cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards baseball cards whatever you just tell her what you want and she will make it into a coaster or a jewelry like department and but she mostly does pokemon cards so i got coasters of can you guess what pokemon is behind this coaster let me just tell you right now, I have nine coasters, nine of them. That's your hint. I have nine coasters. Yes, Sarah, the evolution. This is Evie. So cute. You put your Evie. 
Vaporeon. Oh, so cute. My favorite evolution is Vaporeon, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. Vaporeon is the best one. Then there's Jolteon. Pew. Then there's Flareon. Espeon. Umbreon. Uh, Leafeon. Glaceon. And Sylveon. Sylveon's my second favorite evolution because she's, she's just so badass. She's like ultra strong. But yeah, those are my things. Cute. Thanks, Sammy. Sammy said it was cute. All right, so I believe my stove is ready. I think it's a little too hot now, so I'm going to lower the heat. I'm going to toss these guys onto my grill. Oh, yeah, I forget I can move you guys because it's a very long extension. That's the squash cooking. I don't know when I'm supposed to flip them over, but I'm just going to do what I can. Add oil, add oil, add oil, add oil, add oil. Oh, 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 oh. Put, put webcam down, put webcam down. Hold on. Add oil, add oil, add oil, add oil. Sarah, why don't you tell me sooner? No, I'm just kidding. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I don't know how to cook. Ah! Okay, I'm just going to put you guys back onto my computer. Flip you guys back around. At oil, at oil, at oil. My charger. Do you need a charger? Um, do I need my charger? No, I'm still at five fifty nine percent. We're good. We're good. I added oil. Was that too late? I hope that wasn't too late. Okay. All right. Check to see if it's good because you guys know more about cooking vegetables than I do. Tell me if this looks good. Oh, actually, this does look good. Good at cooking. It has the line mark. Good char. Okay, good char. I think the skinny one has a nice char to it. Okay. Oh, it smells like french fries. Is that weird? It smells like french fries? Oh, my dad said it smells good. What's on the? Do you want one? My dad's telling me how to eat this. Okay. Now if I like french fries. Oh, by the way, I should check on my these guys. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. I think it soft enough, I, I hope. Yeah, I think these are soft enough. Okay. Hot, 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 hot. Frantic chef over here, frantic, frantic, frantic. Okay. All right, see, let me show you what it looks like, you guys. Oh my. No, I'm not turning off the stove yet because I need to put it back into the stove. But. This is what I'm cooking. So it's the butternut squash with all the bacon on top. And there's garlic and thyme and 
other stuff. Okay, now I have to add my cheese. Oh. And I need my phone because the recipe is also on my phone. Oh no, 20%. 1% battery left. What? My phone is trash, guys. I still have an iPhone 6, and they're already coming up with the iPhone 12. I'm like so behind. Okay. Remove skillet from oven and top with mozzarella and parmesan. Bake for another 5 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> I dropped the fork. Okay. So, top with cheese. Cheese. I love cheese. Cheese. Whee! And cheese. Okay. And now, topping with Parmesan. Parmesan, half a cup of Parmesan. No. Okay. 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 Cool. Now, toss it back in for another 5 10 minutes or until cheese is completely melted. All righty. All right. Cool. It's in there. I'm so excited for that because cheese is everything. And yes. All right, Corsman, for all my Corsman watching, if you guys want any, I will bring it to rehearsal on Tuesday. But no one ever wants food that I make because no one likes vegetables. I'm just kidding. All right. Okay. So here is my grilled. It's right now 6.52 at 6. No, at 7, I will check on my cooked stuff. But this is the grilled zucchini, my grilled squash that I will eat right now. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I preferred it raw. Oh, soy sauce. Maybe I should have added soy sauce. Let's add soy sauce. Soy sauce to it. My soy sauce. All right, let's try with soy sauce. Adding soy sauce makes all, all the difference. Mm. Not bad. It's not bad at all. The texture changed a little bit, but not completely a little bit. But not bad. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Izumi, for telling me to put soy sauce. You know, growth is real when Koki has says, I prefer the raw veggie two weeks in a row. <laughs> Y'all, we are getting a round. Second round, yes. Um, thank you, Ryoko. Oh, thanks, waifu. All right. But, yeah. Um, it wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Oh, wait. I don't think I ever ate a squash before. <laughs> well, Ryoko, if you want, I will bring some of my leftovers to rehearsal and you can have some. I will bring them to you guys. For any corpsman who wants to eat my foods, I will pack it in a nice Ziploc container thing. I don't know what they're called, but I'll put a serving. Tupperware, Tupperware, that's what they are called. Thank you, Sarah. I will put them in nice little Tupperwares and bring for you guys if you want. It's okay, no one ever wants my food. Everyone loves Joe. 
Joe, Joe. Whenever Joe bakes something, everyone's always like, I want it, I want it. And I'm just like, yeah, no, but her stuff is really good. Really good, really good. Joe's baking is amazing. And then I'm over here saying, anyone want my food? And no one's like, shame. <laughs> Yes, oh, Ryoko does eat all my food. Just kidding. Ryoko is like the only one that takes my food. She had my... Ryoko, do you have the turnip one? I think she had my leftover, some of the leftover turnip, mashed turnips. Tell them how it was. It was good. Just chan, yay, I'll bring you some. Yata. All right, I will, I will check on... Sorry, you guys, I keep moving you guys back and forth. I need to find a, like, the best way to do this so I don't have to keep moving you guys over and over. But anyways, where did my... Okay. What time is it? 6.56? Let me just check, because it just says to do it until cheese is melted. Cheese hasn't fully melted yet, so let's just wait a little bit more. All right. Oh, it's been a hot day today. I did so much today. I went shopping. I went to Target. I bought that pan, that skillet today at Target just to make this. And I also realized a lot of the dishes I make uses skillets, and I wanted to make a better skillet or make stuff with, be with a better skillet. So I went to Target today. I found that skillet. Um, I also um, left my charger at a friend's house, so I don't have a charger <laughs> anymore. So I had to go buy a phone charger. Oh, it's so hot. I had to get a phone charger. And then while I was there, I was looking at the video game section because I like looking at video game sections. And I found, um, what was it called? I bought this game that looked... Very interesting. Where did I just did a complete circle? I got Jump Force Deluxe Edition. This looks really fun because I like One Piece and Naruto, and they also have My Hero Academia on it too. So I wanted to play it. Um, I was it's it's kind of like Smash, right? But with anime characters, right? That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm assuming. But I bought that today. Yeah, let's all play. If you have the game, I think can you play like online? I think you could play online. If you have this game, let's play online. I don't, I don't know, but that'll be cool. Um, I just want to eat my food already because I'm hungry and I did. I realized this is my first meal of the day. Don't be like me. Eat proper meals because I am starving. Eat proper meals, please. Oh, you have it too. Who has it? I have it too. Ace, cool. Ace, is it a fun game? Is it kind of like Smash, but not but like with anime characters is that what it is that's why i bought it because i thought it was like smash okay oh looking really good oh he said bye he said bye okay bye thanks for coming well, let's hope it's like that um oh it's hot oh, it's so hot you know what? I'm just going to take it out right now because I think it's done. Most of the cheese is melted. It's just the Parmesan cheese doesn't look baked. But the mozzarella cheese is like all melted. And I'm just going to assume that it's done. So I turned off the stove. Don't do that. I just got diagnosed with it because of skipping this. Oh, no. Let's hope I don't get that. Okay. Ooh, hot. Hot. It is hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot, hot. 
Hacha. Ooh, this looks pretty fire. It's very oily though, because of the whole because of the bacon. So I'm not too sure if this is a healthy meal, but it has squash in it. So look, look at all that oil. Crazy, crazy. But this is what it looks like with the melted cheese on top. And ooh. Oh, actually, the Parmesan cheese is a little browned and crusted. So I think it is ready. Yay. Ugh. Mm, looks so good. Looks so good. Yeah, looks so sweet. Looking good enough to eat. Sorry, that's my obsession with ice cream still. Coldest with a kiss, so she call me ice cream. <sighs> All righty. Do you want to see? My dad is interested now. Coldest with a kiss, so he call me ice cream. Catch me in the freeze dry with ice cream. Looks so good in the oven. Oh, just, just a moment, just a moment. Why are you whispering? <laughs> All right, some more Koki singing. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Father. <laughs> How does it look? Mm -hmm. Cheesy. Cheesy. Oh, yeah, my dad's not a big fan of cheese. I forget that. I'm okay with the cheese. Do you want to try it? No, no, what's, what's inside? Butternut Zucchini. squash. No, butternut squash. Put it. Yeah. And then bacon. Bacon. Oh, bacon. Garlic. All right. Thyme. Cheese. It doesn't. Maybe. Could it make an essay? Oh, okay. I'll give that extra. My dad's going to try it with me. Haha, <laughs> yay! All right, tea. Okay. A little bit. Okay. I have to try a little bit too. Okay, let's cut this part open. Ooh, jeez. Mm. Right. Oh, here, you can do this one. This one's smaller. All right, cheese. Ooh, cheese. No, you can do this one. This one's smaller. Can I eat everything? Nope. We're going to see if I can eat everything. Okay. Uh, hot, 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 hot. Okay, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. This is, oh, my dad's already eating. But this is what it looks like. The cheese pull. Let's do a closer, closer up on the cheese pull. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Mm, pull. Good. Pull. All right. It's good. Ready? It's good. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Will you eat it if I keep it in the fridge? And all you have to do is like toaster oven it to be. Oh, did you buy the pan? Yeah. Wow. Anyways. Otoo-san, kawaii te. Hmm? I know, but mm. she can hear your voice. All right. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. I didn't right, eat it yet. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Ha. 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 I think it's good with the wine. Ha. Mm, it's pretty good. Okay. I have to save some for Ryoko and Jochan because, because they want some too. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna save some for. But this is really good. Um, it's not that bad. Like. Mm. Okay, it's not bad. It's really good. Um, maybe because I just put a bunch of cheese on it, and there's bacon, 
but even like the texture of everything, it's not bad. Yay, this was a good one. This one was really good. It wasn't that bad. Um, it tasted pretty good. And yes, that's progress. Thank you so much. I feel accomplished. <laughs> but that, it's hot, so I'm going to let it cool down and then eat some more later. Or finish, at least finish my plate because I'm going to give some to the family that lives in the front house. And then I'm going to pack some up for some cores men to give to them on Tuesday. But yes, um, thank you guys so much for always tuning in every Sunday and watching me eat a vegetable. This is the month of October, so it's already fall season. And there are so many different kinds of fall seasoned vegetables that for the whole month of October, going into November possibly, I will be doing a vegetable of the seasons. Yay! Seasoned vegetable. So um, stay tuned for next week. I have no idea what I'm doing next week. Thinking about doing either maybe corn or maybe pumpkin or maybe, I don't know, other vegetables, but sweet potato. Oh, yeah, sweet potato is one of them. Um, well, we shall see. Cora, Cora has a list of vegetables they want me to taste, so eat, so... If I'm ever stuck, I just turn to Kayla and be like, Kayla, what should I eat? <laughs> and she's ready to tell me what, what to do next. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much. No okra. No, no, no. I'm just going to tell you guys this right now. Three vegetables you are not going to see me eat on my channel is okra, eggplant, and bitter melon. Okay, those are the three things you are not gonna see me eat. Three things, three things. It's not like natto. It tastes disgusting. I don't. It's, I don't have no problem with the texture of the sliminess. I don't like the flavor of 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 okra. That's absolute. Nope. 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 See, Liz is Liz understands. She bitter melon, eggplant, and okra not doing on my channel. I've already eaten them before, had terrible experiences. No, thank you. No, thank you. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, like always, when uh, now that Kayla is done with her recap of the passive core, tune into what she has going into next her next episode of Beyond the Northern Wall. She it's not over yet. Her her series is not ending anytime soon. So. Stay tuned for that, and also, if you have, if you haven't been catching up with um, improve your improv with Liz, um, they're really fun to watch. Um, I can never watch it live, but I always watch it whenever I have free time, and she's just so much fun, and she always has someone on core or an alumni come on and guest uh guest guest performs with her. And it stays on our Instagram, so go check it out and show her love because she's an amazing freestylist. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, let's get it. Um, but tune in for more exciting things to come your way. We are excited to do something that I can't tell you. But yes, we are excited. Yeah. Join the Patreon. Yes, help Sarah beat me to it. Join the Patreon. They have garlic bread. Um, we are always looking for new patrons to join our Patreon family. You guys get exclusive access to our private Facebook group. And we just talk in there. And a lot of times you guys are the first ones to know. You guys are also sometimes, you guys find out the same exact time we find out us Corsmen, because sometimes we don't even know until you guys know. So you guys get special priority because we love everyone, but you guys get a special. I I never do this, but because you guys are patrons, I do this for you. I never do that. I never done that in my life. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you next week. Love you. Goodbye. Shalom. Aloha. Sayonara, Arrivederci.
Um, how else can you say goodbye? Adios. Um, holla. <laughs>